Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see line. So now when line is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP, how will you draw that? And there is one more condition when line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So we will solve both the sums so you'll understand the difference between them. When line is perpendicular to HP and perpendicular to VP. Both the conditions we are drawing. See this. This is HP VP. Now in this line is perpendicular to VP. It will be like this. So when you see from the front, this is HP and this is VP. When you see from the front, you will see only a dot. And when you see from the top, you will see a line. Same way in this, the line is perpendicular to HP. When you see from the top, it will be a dot and in front view, it will be a line. So this is what we need to draw. So I'll explain you with the, with the example. A line AB, 50 mm long, is perpendicular to HP. Sorry, perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Now they have given point A is 10 mm above HP. Always remember whenever they say above HP, it is above XY line and 20 mm in front of VP. It will be below XY line. Now always remember whenever you want to solve lines, so first you need to draw points. So here we, are, we need to mark point A which is 10 mm above HP. So from XY you go up by 10 that is A dash and 20 mm in front of VP that is 20 mm below XY line. So we are done with this point. Now if you read the sum, what they have given, line is perpendicular to VP. If line is perpendicular to vertical plane, then front view will be a dot and top view will be a line. So I need to draw line 50 down. It will be this way. See what I'll do, I will draw a vertical line here. So this is 50. So what I have done, I have solved this sum where I have done front view, top view. Top view is done. In front view, I need to write B dash. So we are done with front view, top view of line AB, which is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. So front view will be a dot and top view will be a line. And this is XY. Now we will see another case where line is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So again, I am writing same question a line AB 50 mm long now in this case it is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP now in this I'm keeping point A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP So what I need to do, I will draw XY line. Now first I will mark points. So this is X, this is Y. You draw horizontal line. Now 10 mm above HP. When, whenever they say above HP, above XY line. That is A dash. And 20 mm in front of VP. So it will be 20 down A. Now line AB is how much long? 50 mm long. Right? So from A dash, we will go, see, when line is perpendicular to HP, then front view will give you a line. So here I need to go up by 50. This is front view and top view. This is point A and B. So 
so now i'll do the dimension and we are done with the sum so what you need to keep in mind whenever line is perpendicular to vp front view will be a dot whenever line is perpendicular to hp top view will be a dot thank you there is one shortcut if you people want to remember whenever they say above hp it's above xy line and this is for points and whenever they say in front of vp that will be below xy line that data will be we can put it like this thank you